Coach Sullivan here again with MGS Coaching Football. And I hope you subscribe to my channel. And um, my background is 38 years coaching football. I've either been a defensive, offensive, or special teams coordinator, as well as a head coach at both the collegiate and high school levels. In this presentation, I, I want to give you an overarching um, uh, idea, I guess you'd say, because it doesn't mean what I'm going to share with you works for you, but I think it, it, it should hopefully start at least a thought process or confirm one you've already done in terms of how you set up your, your means of communication. So this is um, base defense, this is blitz package, this is situational, this is up-tempo, okay, this is formational in terms of how to def name and defend things and so forth. Okay, and it should also, therefore, factor into your game planning as well as your game adjustments. Okay, so, you know, in my opinion, it starts with how you uh, name things. So this is what we call our code inventory, defensive code inventory. So what I have here for you is the name of the code and what it relates to or pertains to. Okay. So I'm not going to go through all of this verbatim, word for word. I'm just going to pick and choose here as it relates to the other two aspects of this particular presentation today. So let me just, first of all, just give you like a, the background of the coding and, and how we utilize it. Okay. So as an example, I'm going to skip to number two. We use U.S. automakers in what we call a personnel pressure check, which that's a whole other presentation. But anytime it's a two back, meaning it's either 21 or 22, we use automakers. So as an example, our plug blitz is called Plymouth, begins with a P. Okay, our go blitz is GM. So we take our four blitz families plug go combo and dog, and we apply the automaker's name to it. So Plymouth is the plug, GM is the go, Chrysler is the combo, Dodge is the dog. Okay, and each particular week we tailor that, <clears throat> excuse me, pressure check to the opponent and, and the tendencies the opponent has. Okay, so part of what's going on here, at least in my brain, is making it simple for the kids to associate the name of the call with what it's intended to do. In addition to that, and number three, for 11, same concept. If it's 11 personnel, we want to use one of our pressure checks, okay? We use the New England professional sports team, so the plug is, is the Patriots, P, right? Now, the go, we don't have a team begins with G, but we utilize C Celtics because of fast break. Go, they're on the go. They love to you know shoot threes and be on the fast break. And kids understand that. I mean, we're in New England. For the, for the <clears throat> combo, we use Bruins. I know you might say, why don't you use Celtics? Well, Bruins is a combination of speed and power. Remember, combo is a go and a plug, right? So hockey combines both. Ah. All righty. And so the dog is what we call Red Sox because earlier in this century – um, when the Red Sox started winning World Series, they were known as the Dirt Dogs. They gave themselves that uh, nickname, so hence that's why. Okay, so again, there's name association. We don't use any Red Sox for anything else, Patriots for anything else, et cetera, et cetera. That's another aspect of this, okay? So as you look through these, you'll notice that they're all very different, and they're specific to what they're intended to do, Okay. So I'm not going to uh, belabor the point anymore, but as you're going through your uh, coding, if you don't code already, I would strongly suggest you do. Make sure that it's very easy for kids to you know, put it into boxes or rows, right? Separate the meaning of the codes and, and what they're intended to take care of, okay? To play fast means mentally first, and then they can physically play fast. So that's the whole point of this, okay? So part and parcel with all this is backfield structures and, and how that factors in. So up in the top right, AFC is auto front and cover, 
and now I have a, this is the playlist for automatic front and covers. But we also have what we call BTFs or blitz the formation. So I'm going to give you an example using some of the backfield sets here as to how we use a BTF. So over here in the bottom right corner, it says strong weak, gun center, strong is offset to the tight end or the lizard rip. I know that's hidden. Weak is offset away from the tight end or lizard rip. Okay, because if there is no tight end, we use the lizard rip it the same way. There are plenty of teams, at least that we face, that don't run this very often. And when they do, the fullback is the key to the whole thing. Their tendencies all uh, surround the fullback. So this is when we would come up with a BTF. And, and the BTFs are automatic. When the kids see this, they make the call for the BTF. And it's not anything that we just specifically created. If we take something we already have and we say this week, as an example, the BTF is a go, meaning a go blitz. And so we'll de designate it's what the outside linebackers on the side of the fullback is going to go blitz. Okay. But we, if unless you have a coding system, right, go back to the previous, then that's going to be hard for you to do. You're going to have to reinvent the wheel. The whole point of the coding system and, and your ability to communicate and adapt is you don't have to reinvent the wheel. It needs to be built in to everything you do, hence why we are can call, can call ourselves a self-adjusting defense, and it's because of the way we communicate, okay? And so even something as simple as – you know, pistol up here in the top versus east or west. Uh, pistol, you don't know where it's going until the ball's down. The quarterback has to open, right? Then it's declared. So for us, pistol is usually an indicator to call off a particular call. So we'll make an Omaha call or we'll check out of something. We'll just say check four or check base. Okay. Again, that's. Oh, because we have the AFC concept built in and we teach our kids these particular backfield sets as an example and what they mean. Okay. Last and certainly not least, we also have the ability to make it simple for, you know, I don't want to get into 156 different formations because there really are not 156 different formations. There might be an infinite number of tweaks to formations, but we don't call a million different things. For us, three receivers within five yards of each other is a bunch, is a bunch, is a bunch. We don't give this a name and this a name and this a name and this a name. No, it's a bunch. Okay, we just teach the kids, well, you know, where's number, who's on the line in the bunch is what we do. Tell who, who's on the line. That determines how we line up. And I purposely give you two, one, and three on the line because that's how it can be done. See, that's why we simplify it. You confuse the daylights out of kids. I don't care if they're a 22-year-old uh, senior in college or a 14-year-old freshman. You come up with a name for every single thing an offense can do. That's too much to handle. That's too much for me to handle. Okay? It's a bunch. And all we say is who's on the line, one, two, or three, right? Boom, done. And this one, right, for us, this is a stack bunch, and so we'll just line up a little differently. But it's still who's on the line. Well, obviously, it's number one. So, they see, this brings in, like, the coding system, the way you name things. For us, whenever there's a stack, and you'll see that in a second with cluster, one's the guy on the line, and then it works into the backfield. Two three in this case. So now I'll go over to cluster. A cluster is just two receivers within five yards. A bunch is three, clusters two. Again, we don't call this one name and this a different name and this, right? This is stack. Stack is stack. But the reason we call it stack is it's the alert. One's the guy on the line and two's behind him. One's on, two's behind, three's behind. That's it. Boom, done. Okay, but what enables us to do this, again, is the simplicity in making sure we teach and name things so it's easy for our kids to, to associate the name of the call with the intention of the call.
and therefore the assignments all go with it. It's, it's all a hand in glove situation. Okay. So there's a lot in this presentation. I get that. It's designed to make you think. If you have questions from me, I am just would love for you to call, email me at CoachMJSullivan at gmail.com. Uh, I'd be willing to talk football all day. You have ideas that I've never thought of. I'm going to think I have an idea or two that you've never thought of, and this is why and how I'm doing this so we can share ideas. Okay? Reach out to me, please, if you have questions. I'd love to talk football with you.